So I have a student who's asking if he should uh, sit his UWSA one right now. He is four weeks out from his step one. I know many of you are studying for step two. That's fine. Uh, but the question is when you when should you sit the UWSAs? Right? Should you sit them two weeks out, a week out, four weeks out? And I should first articulate that it's never cookie cutter for every student. That if I were meeting one on one with a student, yes, we would uh, tailor your your prep uh, as far as when we might sit UWSAs. I should also mention that. I don't even see UWSAs as mandatory at this point. That'll get some students real fucking emotional right now because of the uh, branding that UWorld has, the uh, ubiquitousness uh, via which the uh, UWSAs are sat at this point. Uh, so, you know, to contemplate the idea of not doing the UWSAs, you know, that seems a bit unconventional. And I'm aware of that. However, recognize that uh, the ideal preparatory style for the U.S. Amelia has evolved, okay? So we literally have 30 fucking NBME forms for step one at this point, which I've mentioned you should be doing 20 through 30 prior to your U.S. Amelia. So it's because we have so many forms available that you should be focusing on late that that in turn is why the UWSAs are no longer as substantial in terms of uh, how mandatory they are to do. Okay. So uh, sometimes with students, I might throw in UWSA 2 between NBMEs 28 and 29 uh, late in their prep. That's especially for students who are very ardent about wanting to do UWSAs late. Because in general, I'll say you can do the U UWSAs uh, after you sit NBMEs 20 through 24 offline, where we don't really give a fuck about your scores. Uh, but prior to doing the online forms 25 through 30, for step two, it would be after you do six through eight offline and before nine through 11 online. So that's one possibility for where you could sit the UWSAs. Once again, some students love to sit the UWSAs late, okay? And it, it turns into this discussion over the Skype where I say, you know, look, uh, the real deal is the NBME exams. So whilst the UWSAs do have some predictive ability, uh, it matters more what you do on the NBME exams. I'd rather have you calibrate to the NBME question style late. It's more important that you do well on the NBMEs late. So the notion of EG sitting UWSA 2 after you finish NBME 30, that would be quite audacious considering uh, the UWorld self-assessments are not the real deal. So it's very open in terms of when you could potentially sit the UWSAs. It's not mandatory, it has to be at one time. But as I said, I see it as uh, as ideal to take the UWSAs before you do the online NBMEs, for sure. And then for students who are very ardent about, no, Michael, I don't give a fuck. Uh, I wanna sit the UWSAs late. I don't like the idea of doing them so early, fine, okay? And as I said before, we can compromise where you sit UWSA, and maybe UWSA 1 after you do NBME 26, you could see UWSA 2 after you do NBME 28, right? But I don't want you ending on the UWSAs. It's a bad fucking idea. Uh, and I've made tons of prior clips on this stuff, uh, talking about how the real US simile is the same as the NBME questions, not the UWSAs, okay? So we could discuss this for 40 minutes, all right? Uh, you're going to have varying opinions. As I said, students get very emotional when we discuss UWorld. It's one of my observations over time uh, that students, um, you know, the notion of modifying uh, when a student is gonna be doing UWorld uh, in comparison to what he or she uh, had previously uh, considered for him or herself, that can get some students real heated, okay? Uh, but UWSA is prior to the NBMEs late. How about I just end the fucking clip? How does that sound, right? What am I gonna do? Talk about UWSAs for 44 minutes, as I just said? You know the deal, I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's late.